There is a beautiful live look at South Padre Island this midday. The lack of any clouds, boy, that sky looking fantastic there. Uh, good way to escape any uh, more warm temperatures today. They're not going to be as hot as we saw over the weekend. That's a good thing. Uh, we've got some clouds uh, inland. We'll just call it partly to mostly sunny skies. The thicker clouds are as you go into portions of Star County. And we're starting to see some showers and storms developing on the other side of Eagle Pass uh, into Mexico and also some showers uh, across parts of West Texas. There is upper level energy out towards our west that will continue to move off towards the northeast and that's going to keep us in at least some rain chances as we go through today. But for this afternoon, not a whole lot expected. We're going to keep small rain chances 30 to 40 percent with the higher rain chances as you go in the upper valley for today. Uh, some clouds are going to try and make their way in, but I really don't think we're going to see a whole lot of cloud cover until we get to later on today tonight as we see some potential for some energy coming in out of Mexico. Some showers and storms with this computer model by say uh, 11, 1130 tonight has them well down towards the south with the stronger storms well off towards our north. But then notice by say one, two, three o'clock tomorrow morning, the potential for some of those showers and storms to be moving south to north across uh, a large part of the valley. So that is a possibility uh, regardless uh, whether it's this evening, overnight, tonight, tomorrow morning, we will keep some decent rain chances around and we do need rain around here badly. 90 to 94 degrees or so inland today, lower to middle 80s there along the coast, east winds gusting up around 25 miles per hour. So we have an upper level low pressure system out over Mexico that is going to continue to move off towards the northeast. And as it does so, it pushes little impulses ahead of it and around in a counterclockwise rotation. It's going to be far enough towards the north where I think we could still get clipped by some of this activity uh, this evening, overnight, tonight, and into tomorrow morning. Once it moves out of here, we're going to see our rain chances really start to drop off, especially by the time Tuesday afternoon rolls around. We're still going to keep some small rain chances in to Thursday, but that's going to be the main uh, lift that we're going to see for the potential for some showers and storms down here for this evening, overnight, tonight. Again, here is another computer model. Now, this one brings a big cluster of storms out of Mexico, and it's going to be a pretty uh, intense uh, uh, system as it moves off towards the east, keeping it off towards the north of the Rio Grande Valley. In fact, a lot of the computer models do keep this up towards our north, but bringing in just a little bit of some instability here into deep south Texas. Another computer model kind of showing you the same deal there. Again, the heaviest activity expected to be up towards our north, but by tomorrow morning, by the time we get into say one, two, three o'clock or so, we could see some showers down here. And you can see up around Laredo where they're looking to see the brunt of that uh, precipitation. So I think for us right now, it's gonna be looking at more of a late tonight, early tomorrow morning type of deal. And one of the things that's kind of keeping us from seeing showers and storms this afternoon evening is dust that's been moving into the valley and that does dry out the atmosphere and kind of hold things in check. So again, we're going to be looking at the potential for some severe weather. We are in a marginal risk for severe storms for today, for tonight, for tomorrow morning, and also in a marginal risk for excessive rainfall that could lead to flash flooding. But again, the best or the biggest chance is going to be uh, as you go into the upper valley for today. But we're going to watch it closely. Uh, we saw some good rain yesterday for parts of the area, but some areas still need more. Mm -hmm. We're just hoping that we don't get the severe weather. It'd be nice to just get some rain, but yeah. again, the best chance tonight, tomorrow morning.